everyone, it's me, Anthony Coach, a guitarist on YouTube, Neoclassical Shred. That's what this video is about today. I'm going to show you three Neoclassical Shred licks that progressively get more difficult. And the first lick is this. <laughs> The second lick, getting tricky now, sounds like this. And then the third lick, this is a really tough one, sounds like this. Obviously we're going to have a look at those in a bit closer detail, but <clears throat> first of all, I want to know, you know, neoclassical music, neoclassical shred. It's still around, isn't it? People love listening to that kind of stuff. I like it too. I want to know who's your favourite neoclassical shredder. For me, the answer is obvious. There is only one. We all know, know who that is, I'm sure. Anyway, going into a bit more detail with these licks. The first one is by far the most approachable. Doesn't mean it's easy, because you're still going to build up that smoothness of it and and the, the thing is that you've got to go slowly with all these just a quick reminder of what it was it was this one and it's the scale itself you know each of these are in e harmonic minor that goes a long way to making it have that that neoclassical sound just because the harmonic minor i'm not talking theory in this video look at all my other videos recently if you want some music theory. Here's the lick, slowly. The main thing with this one is this and. Well, both of them linked together, but this and, when you see what it's doing, it's just doing strict alternate picking. And the thing is that you've got to think in groups of sixes for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Even though there's only three notes in the left hand, the reason being you want to sync that down pick. Diddle -a -diddle -a Otherwise, you start thinking about downs and ups. You don't want that. You want to be going four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I descend down an E minor chord there, going E, B, G, E. What was that second one? The second one was... Okay. Trickier, but when we slow it down, you know, it's a bit longer, uh, when we slow it down, makes it a bit easier, as with everything. That's a bit of an obvious thing to say, but I'm just going to slow it down, get some tab up, first of all. So it transitions in the middle of two, two licks going intervallically from one part of the guitar to just going back through the scale. So this one, to make it simpler, is to just chop it into two and practice that first one. The thing is that a lot of neoclassical playing, there's a lot of thinking along the lines of picking everything. You don't have to pick everything. That's what the, the, the idea behind this lick is that you don't have to pick everything. That's the last note that you pick, and then you hammer on, then you pick again. That starts you off again on a down pick. 
Again, very important to keep the, the picking even. Make sure that, that you reset your brain to think at the beginning of every repetition of this lick that it's a down pick. <laughs> Yeah, and then you practice the second one. Can you hear that? I'm accenting the notes because I know that I'm going to latch onto those. When the speed increases, it's going to be impossible for me to think of each individual note. I want the muscle memory to kick in there. What I do need, I need to think of something though, or else I'll be out of time. So I have to think of those as being my links. Okay, bit of a tongue twister that one, but work on it because it's really, really good. The third one, okay, the third one is a real tough one, a bit of a reminder of what that one is. Okay, just about. I'm going to slow that one down with the tab. sloppy there, doesn't matter, you'll get it cleaner, I'm sure. This one, it's all about the fact that we can repeat notes to buy us time and to reset the picking hand. Let's have a closer look at what I mean there. So, it, first of all, you've got this octave leap. Th there's the six note pattern. And then you do the exact same up on fret 12. So that in itself is a really cool concept. Okay, that big stretch with the little finger is what makes this one tough for me. Okay, when you're up there, you can repeat that G, that fret 15, and then repeat that one. Stuff like that in shred, just, you know. It, it, that repetition of notes is a really, really good thing to do. You, you can build up a lot of cool licks just by repeating notes to reset the picking hand. Anyway, when you reach the top, I then changed it just for fun. Completely stolen from Ingve Malmsteen. Same pattern, then just descend. Gonna see if I can get a bit cleaner up to speed. No, no, I can't. Let's try again. It'll do, it'll do. Okay, neoclassical shred licks. Starts off with that one. Then the other one, uh, and then the other one, and so on and so on and so on. I'm sure you'll get it. Have fun with it, and let me know down there in them comments who's your favourite neoclassical shredder. Going to be very interested to see if I get answers other than the obvious. Anyway, thank you very much. I've been Anthony Coach. I'm off now to practice some neoclassical guitar. Not really. I'm off to go and painstakingly create a thumbnail. I'll have fun. Okay, thank you very much. I will see you, hopefully, in the next video. Thanks for watching.